Tom's new setup. Hello. Can we have his bully? Yeah. Good boy. You gotta say hi to the stream, Bell. You gotta say hi to the they stream? I'm worried about you too. Hang on. Wanna say hello to the stream? Okay, Bell. <laughs> He's like still out of range. There he is. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay, you can go on your way now. <laughs> oh, look at all the bows. Stream says hi to you. He doesn't look like he wants to leave now. Well, there he oh, is. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Jazzy, thank you so much for the two months. Um, Bows is okay after the alarm. Yeah, he was a bit scared. He's okay with the alarm sound. It's just the um the man's voice because i think he thinks someone's in the apartment but he doesn't know where because it's like everywhere so it creeped him out a bit it is okay poor little man there he's like what is happening he's fine uh oh how are they gonna get to these chess tables make a little thingy here um, but yeah, welcome back to the stream, everyone. Sorry about that. We have a little stream now. Glad everyone's okay. Man was everywhere. I know. I think my donations got lost during the stream. Oh no. It's because, I'll tell you what it is. It's because of this new setup. Here it is. Thank you so much, Michael, um, from 23 minutes ago, so right before the fire alarm went off. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. A little gift for me as it's coming to the festive season. Aww. One question, would you consider playing Hogwarts Legacy with us on Twitch when it comes out? I think you can make your own story in the game, so I think you'd love it. Oh, I'll look into that. Is it a multiplayer game? I mean, I'm down for anything Harry Potter, so I'd love to check it out. Uh, hey, dog must bark, must protect. Yeah. Thanks, Michael, very much for that. I appreciate you. Um, seeing Bowser bright in my day. He's a good boy. Um, but yeah, sorry if that worried you guys. We're all fine. Uh, Mimalx, thank you so much for the bits. List93, thank you for the community sub. Gifted sub, sorry, that's very sweet of you. Bermuda, thank you for subscribing for three months. Pale Arrive, thank you for the prime sub. Gamer Jesse, thanks for the eight months. And Jazzy for the two months. <laughs> All right, oh, I better tell my mom and sister we're live again. Um. Hogwarts game looks amazing. So what, what's, what is it? Like what platforms, what kind of game are we talking here? Pardon me. Sorry, mom, cause she's watching. It's cause I just had my vitamins. <laughs> I'm turning into that, like a burpee streamer, which no, I never wanted to be that, but you know what? We're just gonna embrace what happens in life, right? Uh, do you recommend getting Snowy Escape? I like Snowy Escape. I think it's lacking in a bit of incentive to use the snow sports though. Like, yes, you wanna get to the top of the mountain, but that was pretty easy. And then the only thing that you can really aim for is unlocking like making videos through snowboarding at level 10, which is cool. I want to, like I'm working to get to that. Um, and then the aspiration rewards from memory aren't that enticing. So I just, I really like the game, but I wouldn't expect it to give you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of gameplay, that's all. Unless you're good at making your own stories and challenges and utilizing the world. 
I didn't get a notification that we were back. Yeah, we're back. Welcome back. Uh, Tatio's videos, thank you so much for the three months. Hey, little Yardbird, what's up? Anyone having struggles playing Sims since they brought the new pack? It will be from the, it's not the new pack. Well, I doubt it's a new pack. It's the patch, the latest patch that people are having a lot of troubles with, including myself. Like my last two LP parts were like, oh, <laughs> nothing was, whoa. Oh, how cool is that? It's so handy. Nothing was really working. I'm gonna put lots of these around. Also, I totally lost track of how long we were alive for. So 10, 11, 12, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on the time because James's mom and dad is uh, coming over and we're making an antipasto platter. And uh, I just want to have enough time to do that because I'm sure James would make a lovely platter, but I like to supervise. This is another example of when I need help with things, but I don't want anyone else to do it. <laughs> Cause I don't, I like doing it my way. I don't think I'd be very good at like a team competition. <laughs> No, I'd be fine, but deep down I'd be like, oh, I really want to be the leader. That's it. That's an Aries thing, I think. I'm, this is a nice, intimate chat, though. Uh, it was two hours. So you won't be on the Sim game show? <laughs> I did. Well, the Sims game show sure would be fun, but. I think I'd get, oh, I don't know. It depends what the filming hours are like, I think. Cause I could see myself getting a bit anxious filming a show. Cause that'd be like, stressing. You know what? I don't think we should have anything on the picnic tables. I think I would much prefer like judging, to be honest, than competing. But then people would like dislike you and be like, you're playing favorites cause, cause you're friends with Dr. Gluon or something. <laughs> Good night, Deli. Good night, Bexa. Sleep well. Out of all the Sims 4 stuff packs, which is your favorite? Uh, what's my favorite stuff pack? I like... Hmm. Well, I have to say Tiny Living, I think, is the best in terms of you get so much gameplay out of it because it brings the competition aspect to building. Well, not really the competition aspect, more so the challenge aspect to building, which I think is so much fun. And it's something that they hadn't done before. So it's quite refreshing too. Um, so you, you get a lot of gameplay out of that because you just want to build and build and build with it. There's also great items. Um, it's a very well executed pack too. And then I think the next one I would get is vintage. The vintage stuff pack because you get the butler in it and I love having butlers in my game. And I like the hot tubs from Backyard. So I'd pick them choosing certain items. Bets, thank you so much for gifting us up to Zanesy. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. And RPG Taste 34, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, Tara Kabbalah, thank you so much for the seven months. Choo choo! Tiny Living is the best. Yeah. Stand Tiny Living. 
Mischief managed. I also love the fancy details of Vintage Glamour. Yeah, I reckon Vintage Glamour was a cool pack. I mean, a lot of people don't like it, but I do. I, I actually really like Romantic Garden stuff as well. I think there's so many nice, like all of these plants are really gorgeous. And in like my own private gameplay, I'd use these a lot. I just don't use them all the time because I know not many, well, not everyone has them, so. But I love all of these plants. I love the classic kind of magical items as well. What other stuff packs do we have? What happened with the fire alarm? It was um, just a false alarm. I think someone in the other building accidentally sent it off, but because it is a hot day, um, people were a little more on edge probably. I mean, I know I was like a little concerned because it's such a hot day today. So it is a more higher fire danger day probably, but it's fine. Poor little Bowsy though, he got a scare. He's okay though. Uh, Moosey, thank you so much for the nine months. Happy stream, baby. Hope you're well. I hope you're well as well, as well. <laughs> A happy stream, baby. Let's name it. Lily. I like the name Lily whilst we're placing flowers. What kind of pack would you like to see next? I want a farm pack, not with horses, not with any like, you know, new animation or in-depth creatures or like animals or anything like that. I just want like a farm pack. I want more farming, more things to do with your farming. Like I want to be able to milk a cow maybe or milk my cow plant for milk. <laughs> I want to be able to have like a little chicken coop to collect eggs from and bake cakes from and be able to sell my cakes and sell my farming stuff. I think that would be so much fun. That's what I would like to see. I just want a farm pack. I know it's it's definitely going to have to be I, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel satisfied with a stuff pack with just a chicken coop. Like I'm talking farming expansion. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> and then we can sing Do You Like My Farm House every day. I want generations more than anything. So what specifically did we have in generations that people loved so much? Like I'm trying to remember the actual gameplay that came with that. It's hazy for me to remember. I think they like updated more things to happen like at weddings. Do I think Sims 5 is coming soon? I don't think it's coming anytime soon. Maybe. Well, the Sims 5 has been out for five years now, right? So they used to come out every five years, but this one definitely is gonna have longer, a longer life. I reckon it's going to be all Sims 4 next year and maybe 2022 it's announced for 2023. That's my guess, 2023. I, I don't have any insider information about it, but that's just my personal guess. You don't think it's coming at all? I think it is. I, oh, that would be so sad if it never came out. That would be really, really sad. What did we put over here that worked so well? Oh, there's kind of... Okay. 
kind of dirt here. I think this... Oh, that's not the right one. Is it this one? I think this one works, kind of. Okay, over here. Yeah, I reckon 2023. Announced 2022. And of course, it'll probably be delayed. Because games always delayed a bit. is looking good thank you thank you I'm not sure actually no I was like should I tweet out that we're live I think we're fine I'm sure people check back if they uh, feel they need to okay so I'm get this Coming out here, maybe we put a couple of bushes on the edge here, so it looks a little, a little nicer. Yeah, I'm actually in the mood for landscaping. Sometimes when I have to landscape, I'm like, ah. But today I'm like, ah. <sighs> you know, the more I think about it, you guys, I kind of fantasize about living on a small farm like a tiny farm like not really a farm but it feels like a farm I think that would be so cool one that doesn't have high maintenance at the, at... it's basically a, a small bit of farmland so you have chickens and stuff oh level four hype train thank you magic 24 Jordan for subscribing welcome thanks so much and snow crane thank you for the 3,000 bits Damn, thank you. That's very, very generous. Thanks very much. I really hope The Sims 5 ditches their own graphics engine and just uses either Frostbite or Unreal Engine. That'd be awesome. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if they'd do that because they've always built their own engine from scratch. Isn't it? I don't think you can use those engines to make a game like The Sims. I think it's too different because i i'm pretty sure i asked james that once and he was like you couldn't actually maybe i'm making up words that he said i i thought he said something along the lines of they have to make their own engine because it's like too different to other games i don't know if james is watching right now and if he can chime in but well, I don't know anything about gaming though, so like I mean producing games, making games, engines or anything like that, so I, I really have no idea. <laughs> Level five hype drain! Yay! Uh Atomic Sunburst, thank you for gifting a sub to So So Random. And Bets for gifting a sub to Zane Z. RPGTase34, thanks for subscribing. Developing, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, The Sims 4 uses a Sims 3 engine, which is incredibly annoying. Oh, well, you probably do know a lot more about this. Well, Dicker, because obviously you work with the game in a more in-depth way, in designing for the game. Interesting. Karinka, thank you for the Prime sub for three months. I know there's now an open world mod, but I just want an official one. Yeah, same. The park's looking good. Thank you. Thank you. I might have gone a little heavy on all the flowers over here, but it's so pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
I definitely have the strong feeling that The Sims 4 has a much longer lifespan than any other Sims games. But I also sense that maybe the engine they're using is restricting them a lot from things like more in-depth aspirations like we've kind of got everything already i don't know how much create how much more creative they can be with that um like i feel like we're getting aspiration rewards or the reward store rewards for aspirations that we kind of already have and like I mean, I think the big things people are asking for, they still have room to do over the next couple of years. Like people obviously really want hotels. People really want, I mean, I'm being a little bit biased, but so many people want farms. <laughs> um, they have room to do maybe something with schools. That would be cool. I think a school pack would do really well. The boarding school pack would be amazing, actually. I mean, there's so many things they can still explore. I think there's... The Sims 4 has still a while to go. It's just whether or not they can push their engine enough to keep it interesting. It's a bit of a gamble. Um, boarding school, how cool would that be? You send your sick kids to boarding school. And then you like go to the school. And like, I don't know. I don't know what you'd do there, but. <laughs> I just want to go to a boarding school and live in dorms. <laughs> Level four hype drain, yay! Nice one, you guys. Do you think the game's starting to struggle with the pack? I think, yeah, it's definitely the more packs they have, the more things in the game they have and have to patch is gonna be more difficult. Uh, Mama Bird, thank you for the 12 months, the one year, one year hype. Thank you so much, Mama Bird. I hope you have a great Christmas. Thank you so much for your support. The Sim models of The Sims 4 are so good. The engine and the Sim skin shader do not give them justice at all. Really? Interesting. Do you want more wedding dresses? Yeah, I feel like... You know what they could do? They could do like a, I don't know, The Sims 4. I'm trying to think of a name. Like, this is not the right name, but something like The Sims 4 Life. And it's like, <laughs> it's a really bad title. Um, The Sims 4 Living. <laughs> the Sims 4 Living Large. <laughs> But basically a pack where they bring into it a lot of things that people want. Like they could bring in more things for babies, like a change table. They could bring in divorce. They could bring in inheritance. They could bring in uh, weddings that actually work, prom, you know, all those big life things that I guess are kind of like generations. That would be something that people really want. Strollers. Weddings are such a mess. Yeah, and I mean, you know, little things like a honeymoon, graduation. There's things that people really want. Um, and they're quite basic things. So I, th I think they could do like more of a basic pack that offers that. You're back, I am. Helen, thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate it. Generations and all of that should have been in Parenthood. Well, because Parenthood was only a game pack. 
they couldn't fit it into parenthood. But yeah, parenthood could have been an expansion with those things. I think, I feel like one of the most expensive things for them to fit into each pack's budget would probably be, I'm assuming, animation. Maybe. So I feel like anything like strollers that requires a new animation is probably harder for them. They would like it. That looks nice. What else do you guys want? Have you ever seen the pick in my pin tweet? I did that a few months ago out of boredom. What? What did you do? What? The pin tweet, the gang's all here. That's so cute. That's awesome. Merging Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4. That's cool. I want to sleep. You should sleep. She's super realistic in terms of build style like you. Uh, oh, collaborate with different game changes. I think you'd enjoy building with Dr. Ashley. Yeah, I've met Ashley, Dr. Ashley. She's, she's very nice. Um, I've enjoyed uh, meeting her and speaking to her. She's a, she seems like a lovely person. And yeah, very talented, talented builder from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, I haven't really collabed with anyone for a long time. I think, yeah, we do need to do more collabs. Okay, I think this park is looking really nice. So one of the other things we desperately need is lighting for at nighttime because no one wants to go to a creepy park at night. I think this will be a nice park to put in your game and you only really need cats and dogs. If you have island living, that's a bonus for these. Um, and the luxury, what was it? Garden, romantic garden pack. So yeah, I think this is quite nice, quite nice. I put another bin there just near the chest tables. Uh, I don't mind this area being a little bit more plain because I feel like there's a lot of plants everywhere. So I might just put some little rocks to make it look a little realistic. Like that, maybe some terrain paint here. Gotta save. <laughs> um, what's your least favorite pack? Spooky stuff. Did you include a woohoo bush? I did near the toilet. Kimmy, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. This park will definitely make Newcrest more green in terms of eco living. That's true. That is true. Okay, so now we need to do our lighting. So let's. We get night time. Now that is pretty sad looking. <laughs> there is no lighting in here whatsoever. <laughs> Worst pack hands down is luxury party. I like some of the formal dresses though. Like if we didn't have a couple of, of those formal dresses, I'd be a bit lost. But yeah, some of the items. 
our little maybe not the best <laughs> do you think we could put this big light post somewhere maybe here that is kind of too big size it down This needs to be side up. I need to size this down. Down, down. Prices are down. The items are fine. It's just a stuff pack with five out of ten objects. No, ma'am. <laughs> oh, really? So in terms of what you get. See, I'm not... Oh, yeah, it does have... Now that you say that, it is kind of smaller. That pack. Dots a few of these around. I want to put maybe not a big lamp over here, but maybe we can put some like little ones. Oh, that's a nice lamp. That's a different pack. Oh, put these in. Maybe just base game ones. Definitely need some light around the public toilet. I think this statue needs to be lit up actually. What about we use these from the base game update it's can't you kind of yeah fate these are great because you have to face them the right way they'll actually you know like light up a statue or a wall feature which is quite good size them down so they're a little less noticeable as well it just gives it you know a little bit of light i've been reading so many uh interior design magazines recently i really would love to do a simple renovation not like a full renovation but just like ripping up some carpet and painting some walls i think that would be so much fun <laughs> You're back and safe. Yeah, we, um, it was a false alarm. Are you going to give the park traits? That's a great idea. Do you guys have any traits you think would be good? So we need to put something on this sign. There we go. Um, clothing optional. <laughs> Can be a cat hangout, dog friendly, racing the breezes, the breezes one. Okay, let's see. Racing breezes, um, so that's a good place to exercise. Except there's not really any exercise objects cat friendly dog hangout stray dogs will hang out a lot well can it just be dog friendly oh yeah dog friendly cat friendly or maybe it's like dog friendly with stray cats Great soil. No, we're not really planting anything. Convival. Convival. Go for socializing. Where is that? Convival. Charisma, comedy, and mischief? Dog friendly, not dog hangout. I'm good, thanks, Megan. How are you? Um... I feel like Kavival is only for charisma, comedy, and mischief. 
child's play. Kids seem to learn faster here. I mean, that is handy. Teen hangout? Not really that much for teens to do though. I mean, they could sit at the picnic tables. Landfill? I don't know. Hey, Trizzy Kitty, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. How did you stream? Uh, welcome to the Delicacy stream. Today we are building a park in Newcrest. I'm from Australia. I'm currently in Sydney. You can call me Deli. Uh, how was your stream? We're just picking the traits to put on this park. We've got dog friendly, cat hangout. So people bring their dogs here. Stray cats kind of roam about. Hey, hey. Haunted trait just for fun. No. <laughs> Uh, we also had a little stream scare earlier. The fire alarm in my building went off and it was like, evacuate, evacuate. And then my dog got really scared. So we had to stop the stream and start again. <laughs> it was good. Park looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, make sure you guys check out Twizzy Kitty. Oh my God, are you okay? That's scary. It was scary. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mathuna. Haunted. Peace and quiet. I just want, like, oh, study spot. They can study longer without getting exhausted. Training ground. I mean, there is a little training thing. It could be a good or teen neighborhood. Maybe we should just make a teen hangout. I kind of want just all kinds of sims to come here though. Sunny aspect? What's that? Is that for painting? Energized, happy, or inspired? I mean, that's nice. Romantic? Good date. <laughs> I kind of, I want people to be able to socialize more easily. That's what I thought Convival was, but it's for charisma, comedy, and mischief. I don't think there is like a social. I don't think there is like a social trait. <laughs> Vampires. Is it natural light the social one? Natural light, is it? Painting and photography easier. Study spot is nice because the skills increase quicker. Oh, really? So that comes across all skills? There is at the top? Kids will learn faster here for child's play, which is good. I don't know. <laughs> it's too hard. It's too hard. Sunny traits just for like, um, people feel happy, energized, and inspired. Party was a social boost. That's just for social goals though. Chrissy Glam, thanks for the 100 bits. Team study spot. All right, let's do study spot. It might help all traits. Um, so people bring their like study stuff here, which I think it's nice. You know what other pack I'd love to have? Like an elderly pack. I know we had nifty knitting, but like, I want more than that. Okay, well, what should we call the park? Um, oh, we didn't put anything on the sign. I forgot to put on something on the sign. Um, yeah, an elderly pack would be awesome, wouldn't it? The elders need more love, okay? I mean, this is technically from Dine Out, but it does look nice. Why, actually, why are the decal graphics so bad? Like, why is that so fuzzy? 
I'll never understand that. This kind of looks like it's just being carved in. I like that it doesn't look as itchy on the sides. It looks itchy to me. If that makes sense. Um, collab with Devin Pumpkin. He seems nice. Might actually put a couple of things out here. This park looks really nice. Thank you. It's very full. Definitely, it's more full. I mean, I was like, we'll just quickly make a park, but you know what? When on this stream do we do anything quickly? <laughs> Myth was like, girl, you're telling me. <laughs> By the way, are you using your new teacup, Tara and Mithla? Um, Crescent Moon Park and Gardens. <laughs> Couldn't add for tequila. Oh dear. Because I always do an older warning on here. Because sometimes the topics we talk about can be a little, like, not really appropriate for kids. But then again, you're meant to be, what, 13 and over to watch Twitch? Technically, so maybe we don't need that. Oh, okay, I see. Yay, Tara, that's good. Landscaping became the new creator sim. <laughs> that's so true. Thanks again, Twizzy Kitty, for the raid. That was really sweet of you. Thank you. I do hope hope you had a really nice stream. Okay, well, this is our garden ready. I mean, garden park. Do we call it Parks and Rec? Hmm. Hecking Park. I like that. The condom hats. Well, look, if safety is promoted on my stream, I don't mind because it is for safety and that's a good thing. Hecking Park. I kind of like that. Parks in Delhi. Perfect name, Garden Park. <laughs> Uh, Lauren, thank you so much for the four months. Appreciate you. And Chrissy Glam for the bits. Thanks so much. And Jarrett for the bits as well. Like the hecking fa family. Yeah. I want your mug. Uh, mischief managed mug? I don't know where this is from. But it's from James's cupboard. It could be James or Zeus's. Seeing if there's a less gates very bright in the light. Maybe we just turn it down to the gray color. Okay, I think that's better. Even though these are technically more white, I think that just looks nicer. And did we like the color of this? I, now I look at it, I actually think we should do this color because we have a lot of like dark woods here. I love our little drinking fountain. I think that's really nice. Yay! I think we're finished. I love it when we finish something. I'm kind of thinking even though I have to go soon to um, get the place ready for James's parents to come over, I might even just jump on for a kind of more of a secret quiet stream later. Because I want to do another lot. I really want to get this finished. You know? One day I have the extra funds to sub. Well, that is that is very sweet. Um, but never feel pressured to subscribe. Um, it is very much appreciated for those of you guys who, can, who are in a position to subscribe. But obviously, and especially at the moment, while well, there's like a wide pandemic even more so um money is tight so and christmas as well so don't feel bad if you can't <laughs> oh 
James is in town. Want any drinks or snacks? Do we want drinks or snacks? How do we find out about secret streams? Um, well, there'll always be an announcement in Discord automatically when I go live. So if you have that on, you'll know when I'm live or Twitch alerts, you'll have that. When I say like a secret stream, I don't bother posting it on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. You do Pepsi with like coffee or pie. I'll say that. Cola. I'm sorry, we can't, I don't, I don't like Coca-Cola. I don't think it's very good for you. So I'm not going to get you Coca-Cola. I'll get you a kombucha instead. How does that sound? Why Marek 93? Is a keeper if he brings you snacks. Ooh, he's getting juices. I was going to say no, but there's a refresher juice that's apple, lemon, lime, and ginger. Detox. Pineapple, apple, lemon, and beetroot. What part of Italy are you from, little dicker? Orange, carrot, ginger, spinach, apple. Oh, this one, the green juice. Spinach, apple, celery, cucumber, lemon, and parsley sounds so good. I'm going to ask for a green juice. Um, near Rome. Wow. That's so crazy. Imagine being so close to Rome where all of those like historic buildings are. That's just crazy. What do you, little Dicker, what do you think of, um, Venice? You see the Colosseum every other day? amazing yes white rose tea is yummy oh white rose tea sounds very nice i love venice i've been only once but i really wanted to go back okay so i went to venice the reason why i'm asking is because i went to venice when i was really sick and i couldn't really do much i was in my hotel for most of the time and it was summer so in summer venice is kind of more damp and like it's not smelly but it smells a bit more i've heard and i felt so claustrophobic there because i couldn't figure out how to get around and it like freaked me out so much i think it's because no way i got sick day two tummy problems it is smelly. It smells like stagnant water. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a building. It, it It's a city where the buildings are submerged in water. So obviously it's going to smell. <laughs> um, well, yeah, because I went to I went to study uh, in um, a place near Florence. I can tell you exactly where, but I'll tell you in DMs. Um, near Florence and when I got there I got a tummy bug for three weeks and that's what it was since that trip I've had anxiety because apparently if you experience a lot of damage to your gut it can trigger anxiety and depression so it's ever since that trip I had no anxiety until that trip so yeah, I'm sure it was from my stomach being so damaged for like three weeks it was so sad but I still really enjoyed Italy I loved it I, I want to go back I loved Florence Dang it, yeah, it was just really unlucky. How beautiful is Florence? And oh, Florence was amazing. I remember when I saw the cathedral there. What do they call it? Not the cathedral. Dom? My jaw like physically dropped. <laughs> I never understood why people said like my jaw dropped, but then, then I understood it. It's so busy. Michael, did you get lost? What was that about stomach causing anxiety and depression? So basically, I don't know why this isn't like known about, 
really? Like, there's so much research out there, but for some reason, doctors don't really talk about it. But, so, anxiety and depression are when your body chemicals are not balanced. Like, serotonin is down, you feel sad. Um, dopamine's down, you feel sad, right? Serotonin, dopamine. Uh, anxiety is when you have high levels of cortisol, you're in fight or flight system too quickly. Like, it's to do with your chemicals. And your brain has less of those chemicals in it than your stomach. Your stomach is like where all of your chemicals and hormones are. So yes, depression, anxiety can be caused like mentally from horrible things that you go through or experiences, or maybe you feel a certain way about some things like phobias, but it can also be from gut damage. So a lot of people who have anxiety and depression have gut issues. Um, and that's why a lot of people have like a tummy bug and then afterwards they experience depression, anxiety. So not many people know that. It's like when you get nervous poops, kind of. <laughs> it's relatively new information and isn't all that well understood by how it works. Yeah. Oh, Florence is so cool. You should. And I went to Rome. Rome was awesome. Room was insane, actually. That explains so much. Yeah, and I'm lactose intolerant. And it's crazy because when I'm on anxiety medication, my lactose intolerance um, isn't nearly as bad. And when I'm off anxiety medication, my lactose intolerance is more sensitive. So it actually works as like a diet pill. It's so weird. It's good to know. Yeah, I like telling you guys about it because so many people don't know. A Rome-inspired world would totally be first on the list for you. Yeah. See ya, golf sims lover. Have a good one. You break out in hives? Aw. That's tough. Um, I'm going to say there's like two toilets here. Hecking Park. Oh, that was funny. Hacking, hacking park. Why can't I type on this keyboard? It's all different to mine. Hacking park. Hacking park was founded and funded by the Hacking family. In memory of their cat, uh, Lewis, <laughs> and dog, Bachi. Hecking Park was founded and funded by the Hecking family in memory of their cat, Lewis, and dog, Bachi. A beautiful, oh, I wish we could have picnics. And you make your food for your picnic. A beautiful place to wind down, relax, bring the dogs and the kids. He may even find a stray cat here to adopt. Hashtag Billy Grissy. Hashtag Billy Grissy New Is this keyboard really loud? Sims 4 get to picnic. Yes. Oh, poor thing got found. That's hard. Share your creations with the world. Have an itchy, like, upper butt cheek. <laughs> That's funny. What happened with the fire alarm? Oh, it was a false fire alarm, but Bowser was a bit scared. We had to just evacuate and go outside, and basically as soon as we got down all the stairs, they're like, you can go in again. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> so many notifications. Is this you guys? Oh my god. Look at them! Okay, I think we need to turn notifications off. <laughs> oh. Uh, other? Online notifications. There we go. <laughs> I take effects off for of my anxiety. Same! Although I don't really talk about it. Then you get people trying to medicate you online, and that's no fun. Um, 
Yeah, that was a scary alarm. Yeah. How much later can we expect the secret stream? Oh, if I was gonna go live, it'd be like, um, like five hours from now. Yeah, I'll be posting um, the whole save file when we can. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's cool, Miffa. Um, it would be a quiet one anyway, so I think that's fine. And depending how late you guys go, I could raid afterwards. Okay, cool. So that park's all done. Beautiful. Uh, can't wait for the safe file, me either. What time is it in Australia? It is 1.17 p.m. Deli queen of terrain paint. I don't know how you do it so well. Why, thank you. Fun fact, the, the little park I did in Snowy Escape, I spent the longest I've ever spent on terrain painting in that park. And I bet no one notices because it's very subtle. <laughs> But thank you for noticing I try. I think I, I you know what, I think I'm not bad at the old terrain paint. Thank you, I feel good about that now. Okay, so the park's done. I don't want free earbuds. Are you going to do an LP based on the sofa? Hmm. Sure, I'll play it. Oh, I love this park. It looks so good there. So now all we have to do is a night club bar. The thing is, we do... There's not really like a teen place. Well, I guess the gym and spa is like teen. The cafe could be teen place. But we don't really have like a nightclub. Do we want a nightclub here? Or do, should they just go to the city to go to a nightclub? LP in Ucrest would be so much fun. Nightclub bowling. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, that's right. We we're going to do bowling. Cemetery. I would love to do a cemetery. <laughs> Aw, thanks Katatinka. That's very sweet of you. Restaurant, maybe? Yeah, I could do a restaurant. Restaurants are pretty glitchy, though, but I still like going to them. I think the bowling... I don't really think I'd use a bowling place much. Um, so I don't know if I want to do the bowling, because I personally wouldn't use it. We've got a coffee shop. I mean, I think if it was bowling combined with a nightclub, it would make more sense. A church and cemetery. That's a cool idea. I mean, we could knock down this house. And have a cemetery there. Because I think a cemetery will look weird here. We've got a public swimming pool. I think a church and cemetery is a really cool idea. Because it could be like a wedding lot. See, I don't think it would go well here. I think that's got to be residential. Um, The only thing is over here, it would be right next to this new modern gym building. I mean, but I guess, you know, a lot of old churches are next to more modern things, but would it look out of place here? And with this like skating rink next to it? Church isn't functioning there. No, but you could use it as a wedding venue and to like bury your sims. It doesn't look right there. No, it doesn't, does it? Oh, Fancy Graves thinks it would look good. I'm wondering if we should 
bulldoze this house. Because, like, this house is cool, but I don't know if it fits into this world. Into a save bar. Move modern next to gym. I think it's too big to go next to the gym. It's too wide. Like, this is a really beautiful home, but... It is, like, in the area that's meant to be a, a historic street. So, technically, I don't think they could have got, like, planning permits to build this if it was a real world. It's a nice house, but I don't know if it suits the world. We, we could maybe try and fit it. Because this would be perfect for a church and cemetery, and then you can bury all your sins there. Yay! <laughs> Taurus Fox, that's nice. Because let's say, let's try and... Wait, can I move? I, I think I have to get it from here. Let's see if... It... <laughs> Wait, how big is this? 30 by 20. Oh, it's so not going to fit. It's so not going to fit. Hi, John. Hi, it's me. Hi. Oh, Yay. wow, it's green screen. Oh, my God. That's so cool because it's green. Yeah, green juice. It's that's so, really I mean, cool. it's so hot outside. I like walked across the car park for like, I don't know, I was outside for a minute and I was like dying. Your cheeks are really pink. Yeah, it's so hot and outside. Your ears are pink. Like, it's if you're very hot outside. Thank you for this. But I needed juice, so I had to go. I had to get my juice fix. Did you just really need juice? Yeah. Goodbye. Everyone's saying hi, Jams. Thank you so much. Okay. You've been so good to me. I know. I don't deserve you. True. Nah, I do. <laughs> also, I can hear myself on the TV. Yeah, because I'm watching you on the TV. Really? Yeah. Aww. Okay, goodbye. Um, so I gotta close the door, otherwise we'll be here. So where? Oh no, did I not upload that house to the gallery? Oh no. Wait, where are all my houses? Why is this like only half of my houses? Oh, I couldn't because of platforms. But even like these. Did I build this? No, that's Hassie's house. What? Oh, wait. I'm confused. No, it is here. Here it is. I was so confused for a second, but I was just looking at my library. Um, Let's see if it'll fit on here. See guys, it doesn't. Oh, actually. It might actually kind of fit. Might just have to not have the pool. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it definitely doesn't fit. <laughs> the whole side wing is cut off. There's no kitchen. What happens if we rotate it the other way? Oh. <laughs> uh, no, it's the Ligrissy. The Ligrissy. Okay, so we go. Try and rotate it. So. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, guys, this is not working for us. <laughs> it's definitely not working. Hey, Millie, Sydney's great. Thank you. It's not going to fit. Hey, Jacob, what's banana? How are you doing?
All right. Um, I, I just feel like that build doesn't fit in with our world anyway. Which means we get to do more builds. Like, I wouldn't mind a modern house here. Because this is like a modern farmy house. We could do another modern house here. We could do a classic house with a modern interior. Um, how's Bowser liking Sydney? He loves it. He's very happy here. He seems more relaxed here in many ways. Although the intercom scared him when we had a fire alarm like an hour ago. Hmm, okay, Annalise. So guys, we have to vote if we keep this or ditch it. I mean, it's still in the gallery if you want to download this house. So it's not like you can't put it somewhere else. I didn't think the church worked in the next to the golf course. Do we bulldoze it or keep it? Maybe boulders. Oh, maybe move the park and put the church here. Hmm. It's also not a bad idea. Poll time. Well, hold on. Where where else could this park go? Maybe we can do that and build the church here. So the park's thirty by twenty. Well, the park could fit over here or here. Maybe we put the park over here and the church over here. And <laughs> Miff was like, I'm so confused. I mean, there is a lot of park space over here, so maybe that does make sense. At this point, I don't think we can do a church. What about a church that's been converted into a nightclub? Is that inappropriate? Wow, yes. I I agree, Mog. Ditch the modern house. <laughs> I, I do like just for funsies though, I kind of am loving the idea of the park here. Just because we've already got all this park stuff around it. I think that actually fits really nicely here, all of this. So I think in any case, the park looks good here. And the oldies can walk their walking frames and their little scooters all the way down here. Okay. What's a speakeasy church? All right. I feel like a church bar is very like, very Windenburg. Yeah, I feel like anyone who lives here would be like, we're not having a church bar in our neighborhood because they're a bit posh over here. True, the gym classes can go over to the park and do outdoor classes. That's a lovely idea. Pardon me. My mom, who's been watching some of this stream, is gonna not be impressed by that burp. <laughs> so this can be like the church bar. So what, we need to like, look up church. I've built a few churches in The Sims. I'm thinking we do like super classic church, like very old looking. And of course some of it's been, I mean, I love the idea of having a graveyard though. I'm not really gonna fit the church and the graveyard on here and a nightclub. <laughs> 
How do you like it? I'll search a small church. Okay, I found a little church to reference. Should we just start it now? I thought we were getting rid of the modern house. Well, I'm struggling to get rid of it. <laughs> a graveyard with a bar underneath. See what I'm thinking. Mithla, you must be so tired, by the way. What I'm thinking is we have this very small, classic looking church. So it will literally be, I'm just looking at a couple of reference images. It kind of be something like this. Hey. Oh. And you have like an entrance here. Also, apologies, I'm not very familiar with churches. Ah! No. It's there. Steps, yeah. I think we just make this a church and graveyard so you can bury your sims out the back. You can have a wedding in the church and then we do the nightclub separately. Yeah, and the modern house, still deciding on. <laughs> I'm also wondering for the church if we should use um, Strangeville because of all the beautiful like windows and stuff. That would be quite nice. We also need to bring this in. I also don't know why I'm whispering, but I feel like it's being really quiet in churches. Welcome to the church milk stream. Okay. Just put it there like this. Okay. Oh, we need to make that a bit bigger. Okay, like this. We'd have uh... actually, you know what I'm thinking? I think we put this down here like that. And we'll have these coming down the sides. Like a Flip that on the other side. One, two. Go. Then there's usually a kind of bell tower, isn't there? So I'm not really sure what we're gonna use is like the hmm. Looks good. Realm of magic. We don't have a bell there. We could use like, I don't know. Some people put clocks. I mean, we could just have it more blank. Have to have. Like we kind of need something like this, but not Spanish. I don't know, maybe there's something in bite bug mode. Hey, why didn't debug work? Oh, when you change lots, you have to put the cheat in again. And I don't know, what would we call it? We'd call it a... Um...
generic? A museum? Don't make it generic, yeah. Butler's Bell? Oh yeah, you can use the Butler's Bell. Oh, reference image on Discord? Mm. Good idea, Swiss. We can look up a couple of um, southern chapels. Good idea. Let's have a look at southern chapels. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, there's one southern chapel that doesn't actually have um, on Google Images that doesn't have a bell or anything. We could definitely do something. Like this. It's meant to be simple, right? I think it should be a little slimmer. Well, maybe that's fine. Uh... Michael, thank you so much for the other another donation. I'm kind of stoked you saw my cemetery church idea. Another idea is a wedding boutique so Sims get their dress before the wedding at the church, then rent the country club. Oh, that's cute as well, like a wedding dress store. I love that. I, I really like the idea of having a cemetery. Like, I miss having cemeteries in The Sims 4. Whoever would have thought <laughs> that we would miss them, but I do. Um, so I would... Oh! You can't put roofs on top of platforms. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, hmm. Just make it a bit taller. Um, the thing is... I mean, it's not really a church, is it? It's a chapel. It's quite cute. Into the chapel and we're gonna get married. But Michael, thank you very much for your donation. I appreciate that a lot. Looks nice. Sweet. Um, so we could have like a, what do you call them? A spire on top? One of these. So in terms of windows, um, the thing is with Strangerville, there's a really, like obviously we should go with Get Together because they have the stained glass windows, but Strangerville has these churchy looking windows, which I really like too. I'm kind of leaning towards using them. Like we can make it a very cute church, like it could be yellow, maybe yellow and white. But, you know, I think these are really nice windows we could use. Like this is a very bright and, and light church, um, chapel. So it's meant to be very inviting because some churches are quite, um, they're more somber, you know? I think that's cute. What do you guys think? Ginger, thank you so much for the eight months, by the way. Uh, and Lil Dicker, thank you for gifting a sub to Lillard. Uh, Javia, thank you so much. Oh, Javia, thank you for the three months. Chrissy Glam, Great Gatsby, and Kat Tinker, thank you so much for the bits. Very cute. This is the perfect size church for realism in like a smaller village. Excellent. Now let's get some 
I mean, the cats and dogs. That is cute. I think we should use. Did we get? Oh, we didn't actually get any woods in Strange Bill. I thought we did. I thought we got paneling. That's okay. We'll just use the base game, which is easier for more people anyway. It's a very sunny looking church. Hey, did we just make the whole thing yellow? Maybe not the whole thing. Maybe like yellow and gray. Or is that a bit much? Is the yellow too much, you guys? Little too much candy. Brick? Is there such a thing as an industrial church? An Easter egg grave? <laughs> we should. Is there a more subtle yellow? I don't think there is, but we, there's a cream. Um, there's a blue. Could do blue and cream. Stone for the walls. Oh, that's pretty cute. Or we could reverse it. Yeah. Um, that's adorable. Did you guys like the stone in the middle or the other way around where this is the wood and the stones on the rest of the building? So just half to it. So it'd be more like this. Which is better. I love the stone in the middle. I think the stone in the middle for some reason works better. Probably because it's got these lines of wood that frames the corners of the rest of the build. Yeah, it's very pretty. Do we do this? <laughs> okay, now we need to figure out the roofing. Um, what roofing is usually like just this kind of a thing? Like that? Thanks, great Gatsby, have a good one. The uneven shingles would be cute. Oh yeah, the uneven shingles from Cats and Dogs. Oh wait, you mean on the roof? Hmm, actually, to get famous shingles are good too. All these decisions we have to make. I think I like the wood. Um, yeah, on the roof. Uneven shingles. Like these ones? Or these ones? Weathered farm shingles? Oh yeah. Nice. And also the other thing was, do we want this cream or do we want it blue? Green, mm, not the green, orange. I think more people like the blue than the cream. Oh yeah, platforms for an altar, good one. Oh, well, it looks like half of us like cream, half of us like blue. <laughs> Um, I, 
I think the cream was working. I know it's not as bright, but I think it looks traditional. I'm just gonna keep that one. I mean, I think Bert look nice there. Um, you know, if I was living in the church, I'd probably paint it blue. <laughs> okay, now we need a door. Hmm, what kind of doors do churches have? Oh, okay, often a dark wood door. Um, dark wood door. Mm. Hmm. Dark wood door, dark wood door. Oh, what about this one in dark wood? Isn't there a plane like that? Going to the chapel and where? Gone. Oh, true AG. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Archway leading to the door. Oh, yeah. That could also be more tasteful. So you put that in there and you have this and then you put an archway in. Going to the chapel and where? Gone again. I want to watch Runaway Bride. No, I want to watch Father of the Bride. Oh, for some reason that just didn't work as nicely as I had hoped. It was a nice idea, but for some reason it looks a bit weird. I don't think it works, you guys. See? I like. I don't know why it doesn't work. The color. What about the cats and dogs one? Like this one? Oh yeah, that, that does look nice too. I think we'd have to use the brown door there. You know what? I think maybe the double door is too big. Maybe a single archway? Yeah, I think the big archway didn't work because it's too wide. Maybe like a single archway and a single door? Yeah, see that looks more balanced, doesn't it? I'm sorry, I've got that song stuck in my head. Oh yeah, I know the one, Lil Dicker. Oh, this has like a diamond handle on it. <laughs> yeah, there's the base game, very plain door that goes across two tiles. This one. I mean, that that's classic. You can't go wrong with this door. Or could we use this door? You know, is this more of a churchy looking door? I don't know, I never, I've been to church, really. Do my seat chili peppers? I don't think so. It kind of looks like a door to a dungeon. <laughs> yeah, there's no music. The music ran out, everyone. Maybe just that. It looks like we're off to um Slytherin's common room. <laughs> yeah, we ran out pennies for the jukebox. Cute. I mean, this one's cute too. Why don't we just do that? Um, there might also be a slightly... Oh, that's cute, you guys. I like this one. That's nice. Ooh, we can 
stack a window above it. Going through the trap. Oh my gosh, you have to stop singing that song, Billy. Okay. I also feel like we need to put like uh flowers under here. Let's put some game music on so we're not silence. Silence. There we go. Uh, we could use some dream daddy. <laughs> What happened with the fire alarm? The fire alarm went off and then we had to evacuate, but turns out it was a false alarm. Someone would have just set it off, um, which is unfortunate. Um, it was fine, except old Bowsy got a little scared. A, a lot of the dogs did. Cause there's a man's voice. It's not just an alarm. It's someone speaking that freaks them out. Um, so there were a few barking dogs. Bows was a little scared too. So we're all we're all good. We're all safe. I love these stairs from season. They're so nice. Um. I'm thinking of getting a green tree frog for a pet and getting a terrarium for him to live in. Don't know yet. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I guess just research how much space they need for it to be for them to be comfortable. And that's um that's very exciting. Of course, when we put on Sims music, we get the creepy vampire music. <laughs> of course, my favorite. Me absolutely eat it. Finally. This is very nice. Pretty. And we could change all the windows to a light wood. What do you guys think? <laughs> you love the Strangerville music. Maybe stone stairs? Those railings look too big. Well, we could just do stone stairs and then get rid of the railings. I don't know what I just did then. Apparently I... Uh oh. Please don't have glitched out. Oh no. Oh, we're fine. Whew. Did seedlings come with me four tiles to match the stairs? I don't think they did. No. What a sham. What's an absolute sham? That's okay. Mm, 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 mm. I like the railings. Oh. Oh, well, that's awkward. <laughs> the other thing is, what happens if the wood was like, you know, just kind of a. Oh, man, I'm just playing around. That's a bit modern. Okay. <laughs> or what if all of these were dark? Y'all know me. I don't do this very often. Or even if we did white. Oh, no, no. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, you know, like, don't half do it, go the whole way. It's very cabin-y, oh. Is it? Am I making our church ugly? Is 
dark looks better. I'm just like thinking, you know, is it looking too new? That That's my concern with what we were doing, that it looked like it just been built. And I want it to look a little historic. Can we go back to the dark stone, please? But I did like, I really liked this creamy sandy color though. Where did the park go? Oh, we finished the park. We finished that a long time ago. We're now working on a church. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my church. Maybe it's the end of the stream now. Oh, so dark everywhere with light sliding is another idea. So, I don't know, you guys. I think we need to end this stream. Oh! Yeah, kind of cute. I don't know, I'm just not familiar with churches. In all honesty, I saw a lot, a lot of really white, bright churches on Google. You like that? With the dark windows? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And maybe the... Yeah. I mean, once it has trees around, it'll probably look better. Good morning, Sarah. How are you going? Oh. You like the dark window, but you don't like the door. Well, you guys liked the first door. Oh, there's this... I don't know. No, no, I do know. What I do know is I liked the door we just had. I think that's a nice door. The other door, less people will have in their games. Because that's the movie night stuff pack. I can't even find it. Which I think is a sign that we shouldn't use it. Oh, there it is. So this was the other one that people liked. I like the other door. I like the single door. Sorry guys, Deli's calling the shots. <laughs> shots fired. Pew pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. I think it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's unusual. Um, single door looks good. No sense. 89, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate you. Savage, I know. And then back here, we were going to have a little graveyard moment. So I'm thinking like old, kind of this thing that we, I don't know. How do you make a graveyard? Do you just kind of put a box? I mean, how big is this graveyard going to be? I feel like that's a little big. Maybe we... Maybe it's an angular graveyard. Just a little one, you know? Just some local families wanted to be buried at the chapel. So there's this nice little area. Uh, and then we put in... Little gate. Go. This little gate here. And this is where you can uh, go to sleep. Should put a lovely tree behind it. Very respectful place. There we go. Some lovely trees. 
I mean, once we have here, like a, a nice little pathway set up, I also feel like we need like fencing around the church as well. And if we want to use our classic. What is go- oh my gosh, I thought I was going crazy then because it was building a box. Um, cute, it looks like a diamond. Yeah, it's just kind of- I mean, once it has foliage around it, it'll look better. Uh, and then, I don't know, does the church just have picket fences? Dark picket fence? I think that's too modern. That's like a black modern picket fence. Hmm. Hedge? This is a bit big. You're still streaming? Yay! <laughs> Wooden fence, stone, or a hedge fence. Hmm. I mean, the hedge is nice. We could just frame the edges of it, maybe. It's kind of Spanish looking. Like, do something like that. Because obviously, they're going to replace the fencing over time. Well, maybe, depending on how, how it's going. But it could have been replaced. How tall is this compared to hedging? Oh, that's perfect. Maybe just kind of combine these. Although the hedging doesn't match the hedging on the, the item. Bamboo fencing anyone? Yeah, we'll just do this one. Then. The stone fencing made it look like an older church. Mm. Well, that is good point. We can always replace the fencing. Just kind of put it around for now. I mean, I think this looks okay. Once there's more landscaping, it'll be fine. Or we can obviously just go stone fence. Oh, what about this one? This one's good. This is nice. I think we should use this one find the right color. Do, do, do. This is Yeah, this is good. Love that fence. It's a good fence. The only thing is I wish I had Oh, we should should we do the dark one? Yeah, probably the dark one. Time better. Here we go. And then, do we want the high fence? Probably no. We can probably just go this fence. Yeah, darker works better. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Good. That's lovely. And yeah, we're just going to list it as a museum, I think, for now. Um, but I think it's a nice, friendly looking church. Would you like some sushi? Yes, I'd love sushi. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I'd love some sushi. Oh, they're normally very open graveyards at the back? Oh, so you don't think it needs to be fenced in? We can just, we don't have to fence it in. It could just be there. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, we'll definitely put some benches in too. Do you think we should just kind of have it out here? What packs are you using? Oh, we've used a bit of Strangerville and Get Together. Um, and I also thought it would be nice to have just a little side door over here. 
how you get to the back instead of the back door. I don't know why I'm into the side door idea. <laughs> but I am today. That's going the wrong way. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Debug the tombstones. Oh, we can't put a... Put it this way then, if you're gonna be a difficult game. And if we're good doing that, we might as well just. Oh, come on. Let's put it like that. I'm kind of feeling like this foundation isn't quite right. Oh, this matches the fencing. But then it doesn't match the stone. Well, wait, is there stone that matches that from Get Together? Well, <laughs> there is also the option of doing like all of this stone stuff. It's always like, Pretty heavy stern. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. But look at now there's so much stern. <laughs> oh wait, I'm putting it on the wrong spot. That's why it looks so bad. But like we could use this stern instead. The only problem is the stone has um, wood at the bottom of it. It's too much. It'd be cool to use the eco lifestyle community space if it wasn't so restricted. Yeah. You like the other stone. I mean, I like the other stone too. Oh, I mean, we gave it a go. You, know, you can't say we didn't try. So that's the main thing. And and I'm sure once we put some plants around here that won't look as awkward. Uh, and then we can probably just have like a, you know, a nice, oh, like one of these paths. Who okay, cares? This is a nice kind of path that comes around. And don't worry, we will make sure to paint this in so it looks very nice. Jat, thanks for the bits. Maybe a basement for bathrooms and kids' activities? Yeah, we could maybe do that. It would be nice if there was room to kind of make a basement that could still see outside, you know, by having kind of it built into the ground with a hole in the top. I think this these bricks aren't dark enough. Um Operatic Sky, thank you so much for the prime sub. when you struggle to find the right stone. <laughs> You'd think it would be so simple, but it's, oh my God. I don't like any of these. Why is this not working for me? What is happening? Okay, fine, we're just gonna use this one. Oh, that's a nice curve. Uh, little Dicker, thanks for the bits. All right, it's 4 a.m. bedtime for me. Sleep well. Sleep well, little digger. Thanks so much for coming to the stream. Awesome to have you here. I need flower boxes. I actually have to jump off myself. So I'll just put in some flower boxes and then I will also finish off the stream. 
Oh, sad. There's no flower boxes that are big enough. <laughs> I think the Get Famous ones are. Oh, some people might not have these, but it's not the end of the world if you don't have them. Okay. Put these little flowers over here. I don't know if we need any more flower boxes. And we can also always just size them down. I guess. The more flowers, the merrier. Yee. Sitting a little high there. Cool. Well, I think it's a good start. Um, also wonder if we should bring the roofs down a bit. No, I think they look better like that. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna finish off the stream here. Sorry about the interruption today with the fire alarm.